Virgil van Dijk. Virgil van Dijk and company have been a very, very solid team in the back right now. You know, really just taking their time. Having Davies at left back as well plays a massive part. I think a lot of the ball has gone out to Davies and he's been very efficient in those cutbacks and getting the ball into the box. Carl Walker with the switch. You mentioned it earlier, that switch apply. It's, it's almost the, the root of every attack. Right back to left back or left back over to the right. But into the space. Jude's come a long way back to help out. Great interception by Valverde. He's got sort of two in Valverde and Bellingham. They're quite similar yeah. in terms of the player they are, but they can hold that midfield down pretty much on their own. Yeah. And then you have that third midfielder, whether it's a Pateas, whether it's a Bon Matty, or even sort of an attacking player in there, who can just go with... And Hansen is offside on the rebound. We have had a goal between Mark 11 and Emre Yilmaz. It will shake this group around and we can show you who scored it right now it was a short corner it was Emre Yilmaz with the power shot cancel every blade of grass he's been nothing short of fantastic so it's a very very difficult one for Lucas at the moment he wins his last game he goes to 22 points that's 12 points out of 12 today Oof. that's that's what you call that's clinical sharp shooting and so we've, we've created a bit of a narrative. Hansen could be in here. Hello. What on with the keeper? Ball roll. It's that goal difference that could end up being. That's, that's the big, the major one. That goal difference. Just a killer. It's, it's a big, big, big margin. Perisic opening up the space down the byline. This is Lucas looking for the cutback to Modric. Hansen Ooh. in the box, slots it in the near post. Hello. And we've got a game on our hands right now. Hello, just when you thought he looked out of it, he's pulled it back. Great bit of great bit of magic. Like he's worked it really, really well, you know. Cutting it back from Perisic into Pele to Modric and Hansen doing what she does best. Great finish. She's been the the decisive player. Yeah. You gotta say at this moment for, for sure. the issues. And I think because he has admitted and he is quite open about the fact that he's not comfortable. Yeah, I, I just think that maybe that means his head's not quite in this competition as much as it could be. And I think that he's still got the potential to bounce back. I just don't know if it's going to happen fully tonight. Well, Lucas is in the zone to finish second. Just makes it look really easy, Emre Yelmaz, doesn't it? I was gonna, it's just such a well-worked goal. Everyone just seems to know where they're going to be before they're there, you know. Ginola's always all, already ready Hold for on. the back post. Oh, hello. Lucas is in with Mbappe. The step over speed boost got him away. He's the oh. fastest player on the game. Yeah, something like that. His first loss. The only points dropped so far was to Emre Yilmaz in game one of week one. I don't think it's going to affect him too much because he is just oh, hello. a robot. And okay. he probably... 4-3. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be the player leading or the player chasing? Because I feel as though if you're the player chasing, you've got a very simple instruction. You press, you just try and steal the ball back. If you're leading, you're almost stuck in that purgatory of, do I try and keep possession? Do I try and look for another goal? As Umut steals the ball back. Mbappe with some great feet. Valverde takes over. And Umut could, Ooh. with that reverse elastic goal, into the middle for Bellingham. Here is Hansen. Alexia Pateas waiting, holding, good defending from the opposite Spinozola. A winning goal here for Umit. Keeping that unbeaten streak alive. Not today. Still going to be unbeaten, but the 